Hello everyone, it's Piggy Bank bringing you an ARMS ranked video. It's been a while since I did one of these and I decided to try a different format, taking it right from the books of Toadstar 100 uh, using the replays here and I have been trying to find a way to bring you guys uh, great ranked content using different characters and I found a way. I'm using a secondary account for the purpose of using different characters. I happen to be matched up against some very strong people today and the first up is going to be Redingard. For those of you who don't know, he's one of the top max brass players out there in the world. And here we go with my Helix. And I just get cornered and I don't know what to do. I try to jump out but the coverage from that uh, Chakram is too good, especially with his uh, read on my direction. He just guesses my direction for escape just so well that uh, it makes it feel like I really can't escape at all. Alright, that was just a quick game. <laughs> so I switched to the Thunderbird. I kind of see Thunderbird as an anti-max um, brass of sorts, so I tried that out. Even though I don't really like the T-Bird for um, Helix. And here he just dodges. So this works because he rolled forward and my Thunderbird just missed because of that. And he gets the rush attack. Corner me again. The T-Bird does give me a little bit of time not to get cornered. But either way, this stage is just so small. I mean, it feels big, but when it comes to getting cornered, it's it's really small. <laughs> Thank you very much for the game, Redingard. I hope to see you continue to do great things in the scene. And I had the pleasure of fighting another top player today, Fellows in Arms Pineapple. So let's get into those games. So since Pineapple Freak is a Cobra main, I decided to test my own Cobra, give the uh, Cobra mirror, and we got Mausoleum. So I like using the uh, Popper Glossier now, so that's what I went with. And the Bruchuk and Boomerang is putting quite the work on me already. The thing about the boot truck is that it's so narrow that it's actually hard to kind of uh, interrupt it. And the thing about the Glusher is that um, it's not very good against curving weapons. So I'm gonna have to really like use the popper to open him up, but he's not making that easy at all. So let's move on to the second round. And he decided to go with the toaster, perhaps to counter my uh, my popper more directly. And I go for a surprise grab that works. And I go for a rush, but look at that! Like he he knows the timing, he knows the delay of the rush and uh, the gap between the deflection and when I'm able to attack from the grab. So he uses that to punch me, which is just excellent. And the board is broken uh, at the same time. And unlike most players, I don't think Pineapple was too afraid to utilize the board in some way. As you can see there. And I try my best. I was already in the air. So all I could do was throw out the Glossier and take the hit. So I get the hit. I take the trade and Hanabo takes the game. No surprise. So for the next game, I decide to choose Helix since this account was actually mostly made for my Helix. Um, and for some reason, we get the same stage, Mausoleum. And one thing I want to note here is the timing of his punch here. So. Helix goes into puddle mode, but eventually he has to get up. Puddle mode doesn't 
last forever. And here you can see Helix getting up. And Pineapple exploits this timing perfectly. Netting him the hit there. Okay, so he's using the boomerang pretty well to uh, cut off my escape pass. Oh, and that's one of the things I, I like about the boomerang. It can hit you from the back, like, <laughs> almost. And that happened like twice. And here I want to note that he jumps while I was blocking. And then he sees that I do the portal mode into tower. Then he activates rush. So great catch by Pineapple. I'm sure a big part of it was uh, reading based off of uh my going into portal mode and i managed to get a rush attack there reading his attack and i do my best to pressure him get the knockdown be fearless get the grab but nope he attacked out of it and we go to the second round And I get a lucky one too there. And great coverage coming from Pineapple. Also, I'm not very good at dodging out of the way with uh, Helix right now. <laughs> and, and that weight <laughs> threw me off a bit, but I managed to survive. But once again, a reoccurring theme. He knows the perfect timing of the portal mode ending and boom um the games just went great <laughs> and i thought okay this is pineapple so even though this is my secondary account for different characters i'm gonna test out my springman against them so i decided to go with the boomerang roadster trying to cover his uh jumps also, the wind element might help me. In Mausoleum, you know, help me get combos and whatnot. I managed to break his arm and get the boomerang hit. Right there, if I had the presence of mind uh, to know that I had the rust attack, then I would have been able to combo, but at least I get a uh, rust attack there. I keep blocking and he just keeps grabbing and at that point that's already you know a, a full rush attack worth of damage but I'm thinking okay pineapple is a top level player he's not really gonna expect me to be a noob and uh, block again so that's what I do and I managed to block his rush I get the comeback hit factor here, and I try to go for the long range game. Alright, I almost have the rush here. And I go for the grab instead. So, I get the lucky guess, and we move on to the second round. So this time he switches to the brutal chuck, and it does quite the number on me, as you'll see. That signature Cobra dodge into Boomerang was excellent. I'm still not used to uh, realizing when I have missed so that I can stop my rush. And he gets the rush. And the momentum is just so much in his favor. So I want to mention here that I, I do my best to punch, but because the Buruchuk is just so narrow that I couldn't like collide with it like I wanted. Alright, here we come. 
This is what I wanted to shoot. Look at that. I, I threw out the boomerang and he blocks mine with the Purucha. We would have gotten the trade if not for that. And geez, what a, what a play. And he knocks me out and does it again. <laughs> he didn't even need to, but he does it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the third game. So I decided that Puruchuk would need something a little faster to get around it, so I go with the Slap Amender instead. Alright, I got the grab there and I try to pressure him using the rush. I saw him jump. Get that rush attack combo. 405 damage. Not too shabby. He gets the grab again. I'm too scared of his rush. But this time I punch out, thinking that he would think that I'm gonna block. But in attempting to punch out, he gets the opening he needs to get the rush attack there. Oh man. And you know, I thought that Twin Tail Ice Pressure is scary, and it is. But the Cobra. Ice pressure is just so hard in that I have no chance of really hitting him back, even if I try to hit him. That jump just doesn't allow for it, so I have to choose to block, but then he just gets the free grab, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Alright, so we are in a last hit situation. We only need one hit. I go for the rush, but he blocks it. What's it gonna be? And that's the game. So thank you very much for the games, Pineapple. I really hope to see you keep doing great things. So let me know if you like this new format. I'm thinking about just kind of going back and forth between this format and my old format. And with that, I hope to see you in another video. Take care.